it's definitely useful and um, I visit lots of BIM events in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. I think the level you have here is really great. Uh, we had this room where I was speaking now, uh, 240 people. I'm speaking on another event in Germany, one of the two big events in Germany next week. And I think it's not 240 people, it's like something like 200, 210, 220 perhaps. So this is a nice indicator of what you're doing here in Vilnius. It's, I, I think the BIM level is huge. The interest is huge and the 14 models we have seen, all interdisciplinary means uh, with architecture, MEP, uh, structure, checked with model checkers like Solibri. Um, you, do, you do not really have to look towards Germany, what's going on. I mean, you're doing very well here. I, I think you should look more in direction Scandinavia. These guys do a really pragmatic BIM. It's something you really can apply. I mean, Germany is a very complicated, in terms of norms, in terms of the value chain, who's responsible for what, Germany is a very complicated country. I mean, that's obvious. Um, BIM should be more, more flexible and more adapted to, to every company, every country, to the culture and the way people work to get a fast ROI out of it, to see the value of BIM. So you should look, I think, to Scandinavia. They do a very pragmatic BIM there. Okay, I think Lithuania is in this sweet spot now where people really are interested in BIM. It's obvious that BIM is going to be something. We have seen this room as plenty of designers, but also there are construction companies, there's public company. So people are really engaging it, but still very much around the modeling, okay? Everything we see is these colorful models with uh, certain informations in it, and BIM is really not about the models. It is about communication and communicating the information in the models, which takes us to PIM, Project Information Management, which is basically where, what I am doing uh, for Newforma. We, we produce tools that help people to communicate um, the data in the models and the rest of the data of the whole project, which is basically tons of email and, and documents and everything. All through the chain means from inside your company into even common data environments. Yeah. I was talking very much about processes to understand that um, what we are experimenting here basically is the digitalization of our industry. We think that the construction industry has been digitalized since 10 years, 20 years, because all the documents are digital. A Word document, a CAD document, now the BIM models, everything is, uh, is digital. Digitalization is not about creating digital information. It's about using digital information in a digital way. And we are still using the digital information analogically. We create documents, we create models, we do things, and then we go and try to find things like we stored them before. We go to folders, we go to, we use you know, the email stuff. We use everything in a way we were used to work 20 years ago. So what's going on here really is digitalization in terms of people starting to understand that they have to use their digital information in a digital way. And for that, tools like Nuforma, for example, these PIM, Product Information Management, means I'm not going to look for documents. I'm asking all the data in a project a question. And I want the answer. And I want to right click and I want the answer to be, without duplicating it, in five or six places means stakeholders, owners, or whatever. And I want to be able to attach an activity to my right click so somebody has to do something. This would be consuming digital information digitally with the whole potential of the digital information. You know, when you say projects, and I say projects, we mean different things. You mean, again, the object. You say, oh, this nice pro, and this is basically, this is basically the point we are reaching now. And the point that the Project Management Institute, for example, the PMI is working on, means we are, um, we are always, I am an architect, we are taught that a project is this. It's an object. This object is not a project, it is a product. The project is tons of things that happen, and the output is one, a product, and two, a set of information. This is the PMI vision, okay? So a project is tons of workflows. I cannot evaluate 14 projects, they look very, very well, okay? But if I have not the whole set of 
everything that was going on during these projects, emails inclusive, and I can look through how they managed the information, I cannot say if the project was okay. I just can say the product looks good. As I said, I think you are rating very well. I, I cannot say you are the number seven or eight. What I know is, I mean, I know people in UK and everyone thinks UK is the top number one. It is not exactly how we imagine that. I mean, most of German people I know that go to, to UK to see this incredible BIM level come back and say, well, basically, I miss this and this and that. They're doing, you know, this is not, German would not do this like this. It would be, like, you know, it's a, you cannot compare because the, the industry works different. UK architects work a little bit different than German architects. Every value chain is different. Understood this, I think Lithuania is a very high level and it is because you're small. You have this flexible, for example, Switzerland. When I visited Switzerland in terms of BIM first time four and a half years ago, I think, BIM was, you know, zero. In Germany, you had building smart going on, events going on, and people showing nice 3Ds. So you had the impression, okay, BIM in Germany is something. In Switzerland, it doesn't really exist very much. In this last four and a half years, I would say clearly Switzerland has somehow positioned the BIM scene above the Germans here because they are small and they are flexible. They do not have this rigid 86 million thing norm going on, you know, and because they have more money, obviously. <laughs>